beautiful souls. Thank you for joining me today for this beautiful super full moon in Aries, also known as the Hunter's Moon Twin Flame reading. I do hope you're well and that you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. So this reading is going to be very powerful. Aries is absolutely amazing energy, such a beautiful, powerful energy. Aries energy encourages us to get things done. It's an unstoppable energy. Whatever needs to be sorted out, Aries sorts out. <laughs> it's a very passionate, loving, fun energy as well. Also, it is the strongest divine masculine energy out of all of the zodiac signs. It's a fire energy, which is all about action. So whatever needs to be sorted out at this time, it will be sorted out. That's how this full moon in Aries is going to be supporting you. There will be a lot going on with the divine masculine energy, not just with your other self, if you're a divine feminine that's watching, your own divine masculine energy. So for this reading, I'm bringing the, the Manifestation Moonology Oracle deck, and I'm going to start with the divine masculine energy to see how this super full moon in Aries, the Hunter's Moon, is going to be supporting the Divine Masculine Energy and then I'll go on to the Divine Feminine Energy to see what's coming up for the Divine Feminine. Just what to be aware of at this time. And then I'm going to go on to get messages from your Divine Counterpart and that could be your Divine Feminine or your Divine Masculine to see what wants to be expressed in this energy of the super full moon in Aries. And at the end, I'm going to get messages from God, from higher power, from the universe to give you a message about your journey and a message of strength, what you need to know at this time that's going to help you remain in your truth, to be focused, believing and trusting in yourself, trusting in that deep inner knowing, the unexplainable love that's within you. So let's tap into the divine masculine energy. How is this super full moon in Aries supporting the divine masculine at this time? What is it the divine masculine energy needs to be aware of at this time? What is it the divine masculine energy is going to be facing at this time? So loads fell out, so I'm going to continue um, shuffling because it's far too many. So there is a lot of action going on with the cars. They're very jumpy at this time. What do we need to know for about the divine masculine energy at this time of the super full moon in areas the hunter's moon divine masculine energy the aries energy goes for their true heart's desires and they succeed they're very very focused so what's coming through for the divine masculine energy at this time nice clear message go wild <laughs> and we have leo energy coming through here which is another far sign so um it's the full moon in leo as well so this is a time to go wild to let your hair down divine masculine energy and to really go for your true heart's desires passion so much passion is coming up around this time of the full moon in Aries. The Divine Muskins are really going to be fired up, getting things done, going wild, <laughs> not holding back. And the focus is so strong. Nothing is distracting the Divine Muskin at this time. And it, this full moon in Aries is, that they're going to be feeling this. It's, it's coming in this beautiful energy. The Divine Muskins are going to unleash themselves, <laughs> coming out of their chains um, and really going for things. So that's absolutely amazing, getting things done, as I said. And we have another fire sign in the East Aries again. First quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. Yeah, the Divine Muskins are going to be stepping into their power and... If you're a divine feminine that's watching, that's your your masculine energy is really going to be coming forwards during this time, taking action, no holding back, no messing about, overthinking, just going for it and stepping up in your heart space. 
um, and yeah, the Divine Masculine energy is uh, this is absolutely superb. First quarter moon in Capricorn, which is Earth energy. So you could be Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. Unleash your kindness self. Can you believe it? That's what I just said. Unleash. They're unleashing, setting themselves free at this time. The Divine Masculine really stepping up in their heart space. Being the sacred Divine Masculine being the protector, feeling strong, powerful, and so passionate about everything in their life and going towards it. Something's just gonna click <laughs> um, for the divine masculine energy. No hiding, really coming out, spreading their wings and feeling confident, being able to express themselves. So recent months, the Divine Masculine energy have been learning to be kinder towards self, nurturing and soothing the wounded Divine Masculine, dealing with the wounds, the pain that has been suppressed within them. During the eclipse season, those have been heightened, the pain, the discomfort, and they've had to take a look at it and face it and learn to give to themselves not to rely on anything outside to do it for themselves and because of that healing time of learning to be kind to themselves to soothe themselves to take this responsibility of self they're able to go towards anything in their life being their kindest self with their heart open and that is what the true sacred divine masculine is they have their heart open get things done they take action and they are the protector as i've said so now i'm going to tap into the divine feminine energy to see what the divine feminine energy needs to be aware of at this time what is it what is coming up for the divine feminine energy at this time and how this super full moon in aries is supporting the divine feminine energy and we feel this energy sometime before during and after as well so let's see full moon in cancer so emotional let your fears dissolve divine feminine they are going to dissolve, which means that you're going to be having to feel maybe some discomfort because of certain things that may be happening around this time that you're having to face, which is bringing deep emotions up. But allowing yourself to feel is dissolving the fear. Going round it, trying to avoid fear is rejecting the fear which will then allow the fear to come in even stronger. When you actually relax into the fear, which I know sounds very strange, it does dissolve. It's about having those moments, allowing yourself to feel, not to be afraid to feel fears or to face different situations as well. So a lot could be going on. You may be put in different situations, circumstances at this time that's going to bring these fears up. Breathe, allow, don't resist, trust that they are going to dissolve. And it's about loving the fear, <laughs> not pushing the fear away, facing it. Um, so yeah, allow yourself to feel those deep emotions and to give yourself time as well. Um, not to be hard on yourself and let go of judgment of self at this time, divine feminine energy. Don't think to yourself, oh my goodness, I shouldn't be feeling this or um, I'm failing because I'm feeling these deep emotions. No, <laughs> you're moving forwards by allowing yourself to feel these deep emotions. Um, and th you are going to succeed. You haven't got to be afraid. Because what happens is when we have the new moon or full moon, we listen to information and it really 
frightens us at times. Ego, it frightens the ego anyway, because like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? Amazing, magnificent things are going to happen. Um, when you are in your hot space, you do have that hard perspective. You can see that everything is happening, supporting you. And it's given you opportunities to face your fears, to make peace with certain things that you have been avoiding. But you have to give yourself compassion and patience at this time. Allow yourself to cry. <clears throat> Don't judge yourself if you're tearful or you're sensitive. That's when you, you start spiralling, getting out of control again, going back into that lower energy. Just allow this to happen. And it's full moon in Virgo, so we have more earth energy coming through here. Take inspired action. Take action. Don't run from fear. So whatever it is that you know that you're meant to do, to push yourself forwards, to the next part of your journey don't hold back go for your dreams and desires put things in place knowing that you are supported you are so loved and everything is working out for you and we do hold back because of fear we don't take steps towards our dreams and desires we don't take that action because we think about what if this goes wrong what if that happens What's going to happen to me? And the reason why we like that is because it brings us back into survival. We think, oh, what's going to happen to us? Nothing is going to happen to you. You're being supported at this time. So take this action. You may get downloads at this time. These new beautiful ideas. Feeling so much more creative. Where you just love, love to be able to do this. This is what I want to experience. Don't allow mind, ego, the fear to come in and say, no, you can't do this because it's not going to work. Because how is this going to happen? How's, you know, how is it all going to work out for me? Let go of the fear and still move forwards, Divine Feminine. And the water energy is Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. Um, so, yeah, emotional at this time, the Divine Feminine energy you need to be aware of. But that's okay allow um and at the bottom of the deck is last quarter moon in taurus earth energy again be proud of yourself divine feminine energy be proud <laughs> you've come so far you have taken so much action towards yourself and you have taken so much action towards things outside of you as well and because there has been so much going on recently, what you have been facing, and this year of 2024 has just been very busy. <laughs> lots of things have been sorted out and lots of shifts and change, internal shifts and external shifts. You don't take in the achievements that you actually have made and how far you have come. So be still. <laughs> Think about how you have achieved and how much you've changed to what you were six months ago or even a year ago or whatever <laughs> what you was to what you are now At the beginning of your journey the beginning of when your divine counterpart come into your life how much you've changed so be proud of yourself and when you're proud of yourself that is where your divine counterpart your twin flame is <laughs> because you're one energy or one soul. So it's a time to take this inspired action and don't stop taking that action because of fear. It's going to dissolve this fear by you taking inspired action. And don't be afraid or scared thinking, well, what if I don't, you know, what if I don't do it right? You know, if, I, um, if I'm going to fail in this energy of the super full moon in Aries, the hunter's moon. You're, this is this is what's going to happen for you. And we think that we're having to do something. Um, we think it's down to us. But actually, all we need to do is to be. And the energies that are coming in from this full moon in Aries is, 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 is pushing you. You'll have that strength. You'll have that passion. You'll have that courage to get whatever needs to be done. Done. Beautiful soul. <laughs> So what wonderful energy. So I'm going to get messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine to see what wants to be expressed. 
and I thought the perfect deck would be to get these messages from the Divine Masculine. It is messages of unconditional love from the Divine Masculine, my deck that I created because of the, you know, the beautiful heart <laughs> that's lit up this beautiful yellow. And yeah, this is, as I said, the Divine Masculine energy, Aries energy. So what is it the Divine Masculine energy would love to say? To the Divine Feminine at this time of the Super Full Moon in Aries. So two, the threes flipped out. We're perfectly designed and created for each other. How magical is that, Divine Feminine? We are perfect for each other. I know this now. I'm not resisting this. So on your journey, in this connection, your relationship with your divine masculine it could be very different and that's coming through big time in the in the readings at this time the channeled messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine um where you know it's just it, in the 3d in the physical it seems as if there's a lot of things in the way there's complications and this could be an age gap a religion living in different countries or there's been other people involved and you're just like, oh my goodness, this is not, never going to work. Um, or it's about your appearance as well. There's something different and your Divine Masculine has in the past maybe struggled with this and so have you, Divine Feminines, um, that you've had to make peace with. <laughs> and it's been, it's, it's been a tough one where you, to have this acceptance of that you're experiencing this love and it's through this physical person coming into your life. So your Divine Masculine is saying to you, Divine Feminines, we are perfectly designed and created for each other. How magical is it? I've accepted this. I'm at peace with this. I feel like I'm celebrating this now. I've dealt with those issues that I've had about the differences between us. I've dealt with the obstacles that I thought that were in the way. I'm so much more relaxed. This is wonderful. I intend to reach out to you very, very soon, Divine Feminine, and I'll never walk away. That's the three that flipped out. And at the bottom, bottom of the deck, um, where those three fell out is, I keep falling for you every day. Yeah, I'm falling deeper and deeper in love with you. And that's because I found that love for myself. And this is showing, Divine Feminines, that you have been doing that inner work. You've been falling deeper and deeper in love with yourself. And you you can feel your divine masculine falling deeper and deeper in love with you because you're close to yourself. You're not feeling this separation anymore. Something's really shifted recently for you, divine feminine energy. And, and this is why these beautiful messages are coming through from the divine masculine energy. Um, so I'll never walk away from you. There's nothing to worry about, Divine Feminines. I'm going to reach out to you very soon, and I intend to do that with pure intentions, which is about the Aries um, energy, the full moon in Aries. This is what's going to be going on at this time. The Divine Masculines are going to feel, come on, I'm going to get this done. No holding back. I want to speak to my divine feminine i want to open up to my divine feminine i want to show up as the divine masculine for my divine feminine um so that's absolutely amazing you can hear the power that's coming through in my voice as well so i'm going to get messages from the divine feminine to the divine masculine now using messages of truth from the divine feminine my other deck come on this is outstanding <laughs> What is it the Divine Feminine Energy would love to share and express to the Divine Masculine Energy at this time of the... Oh my goodness, three flipped out again. So yeah, balance coming through. Three fell out for the Divine Masculine, three fell out for the Divine Feminine, which is all about faith as well. Divine Masculine having strong faith, trusting themselves. Divine Feminine having strong faith, trusting themselves with this number three. Being on this journey and being away from you physically has been the most painful thing I've experienced, Divine Masculine. I can't believe everything that I've been through. So maybe really feeling that at this time. Like this shock coming through with, for the Divine Feminine. Of, I can't believe all this has happened. Taking that time of, to think about how much they've changed and how much they've achieved. But at the same time, like, I can't believe this. 
what's actually happened. Being on this journey and being physically away from you, Divine Masculine, I cannot believe that I've done it for this long, to be honest. I have mixed feelings about this journey. <laughs> I do have mixed feelings about this journey. And there are times when I feel so upset <laughs> and I want to escape it. It feels so heavy and difficult, this journey. But when I'm in that high frequency, that high vibration, it, it feels magical. I know that it's such a blessing. I feel so much gratitude. Um, so let's see what the third message is. All things I've been searching for outside of me, I've gradually been finding within me, Divine Masculine, yeah. I've been finding it within me, what I was searching for. I found that love that strength, that peace, that safety within me. I've been connecting with my own divine masculine energy and soothing myself. And in the process of doing this, going deep within, finding that love and strength for myself, I've had these mixed feelings because a lot of uncomfortable emotions have come up. I've had to feel some very painful things. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, when, where those fell out, is even through the challenges and lessons on my path, I wouldn't have it any other way. There you go. Hmm. So gratitude for the divine feminine in their heart space, feeling grateful for the divine masculine. This divine feminine, which I've mentioned a couple of times recently, is they're switched on. <laughs> but they're being very open, saying, do you know what, it hasn't been an easy ride, Divine Musk, and I've got mixed feelings about this journey. You know, when I think back, I think about wow, what an absolute nightmare it's been. But I also think about all the magnificent things that have happened and how free and awake I am now of everything that I have learned since you've come into my life, me finding myself. Um, but it hasn't been easy, Divine Masculine physically not being with you and so i feel it's been some time since you've physically seen your divine masculine and it's just all sh like it's like this shock because you've you've been working through so much and you've just been getting on and facing things and you know uh, managing these different energies and it's like whew, you're breathing it's like oh my goodness is that really all happened huh. and maybe feeling you know missing your divine masculine at this time which is okay because you know we do if you didn't miss your divine masculine or you, your divine masculine didn't miss or that if you're a divine masculine you didn't miss your divine feminine it, you know it, there would be no point in the journey um because you would just move on <laughs> you wouldn't do the inner work you wouldn't be on this journey so yes you do miss the physical person but you have to be at peace with that as well, to be kind to yourself in that time. But so much is on the internet where it's like, you mustn't miss them and you know, and you mustn't think of them, you mustn't do this, you mustn't do that, which confuses us. Um, so then we're trying to control again. We go, no, I shouldn't be thinking about them. No, I shouldn't be missing them. It's about being, whatever comes your way, whatever, feel, whatever you're feeling is about allowing and having the awareness, taking responsibility of it. And knowing that, you know, you're not physically with your divine Muslim for a very important reason at this time. Because you're finding yourself getting close to yourself, becoming one. <laughs> you're merging you and your divine Muslim at this time. Having that balance with the divine feminine and divine Muslim energy within you. Um, so I do hope that makes sense. And I didn't realise that was all going to come through. But I'm just trying to make you feel at peace if you do tend to be really hard on yourself, it's just about you relaxing and being um, and not judging yourself for different things that you experience or feel. So I'm gonna get messages from God, from higher power, from the universe, whatever word resonates with you to see what you need to know about your journey using the Moonology Oracle cards, the original deck. Um, and this will give you a message of strength as well to help you remain in your truth, trusting yourself so let's see what's coming through what is it god the universe the angels want you to know at this time 
about your journey. What is the message of strength, God? Nice, clear message. What is it you need to be aware of and that's going to help you and give you that strength? And this is for you and your divine counterpart. The answers you need are coming. Yes, they are coming. And we've got a full moon in Gemini, which is air energy. Um, and it's about communication as well. And what's come through for the divine muscles, they want to reach out at this time. So the answers, everything is going to be made clear to you very soon, beautiful soul that's watching. For the divine masculine energy and the divine feminine energy. Um, things are being sorted out and things will be revealed to you. So just allow yourself to be, as I said, the answers are coming. That is the message of strength. That's all that you need to know. However crazy things feel, however it seems as if things aren't working out for you or it's a struggle when you're feeling heavy energy because you're having to face your fears here the divine feminine energy allowing them to dissolve the answers are coming so keep going keep pushing through being true to yourself and at the bottom of the deck is nothing is yet set in stone and it's a mutable moon so this is about you being open-minded having your heart open at this time. There is, nothing is set in stone. There's room for change. <laughs> There's room for miracles. So however your life is right now, it is gonna change. But it's about you getting rid of that thought process of thinking that things are, oh, that I'm just stuck and this is what it's gonna be like forever. It's about being open, as I said, at this time. And because it's the super forming in areas, so much huge shifts and changes are coming and everything is coming to you all the answers um, and you know that all the answers are within yourself you know the answer so it's about being still again taking time and patience with yourself maybe going out into nature to be in tune with yourself to be with yourself and something will show up that will confirm your answer, beautiful soul, um, that you know that's within you. So I do hope that that makes sense. And it's been a very beautiful, powerful reading this. I do hope you have a wonderful time around this full moon in Aries and not to be fearful about anything. Just respond with love. Open your arms and allow things to come towards you, no matter what form it's coming in. Put your love and light into that situation. <laughs> um, and it, the situation would just improve if it is something that's a bit heavy and um, uncomfortable. You're safe, beautiful soul. You are so protected. So thank you so much for joining me for this wonderful reading. Um, I do hope it's been supportive and it's given you the heads up what to be aware of around this full moon in Aries. And Aries is also known as excitement as well. <laughs> um, so really be excited. Don't be fearful. And if you would like support on your awakening journey, on your twin flame journey, I am doing personal readings and I'm offering one-to-one -one sessions if you're ready for change and to take responsibility. But everything you do need to know about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And most importantly, stay focused, believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, the unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya.